Um, what is this? Would you believe that this is an embroidery design that someone paid to have digitized? Yeah, let's talk about this. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and uh, this is going to be a really good case file. I'm going to open up another case file and we're going to figure this one out. We are going to, I came up with a new saying, we are going to jump in the hoop and find all the problems. So, eh, why not? All right, so this is the original uh, design, original, and it does have a light black line around it okay so they kind of got that i don't know what these little pieces are and what is this is that writing how how all right so this was auto digitized and actually really poorly auto digitized this digitizer and this isn't the person that sent me this she was struggling and it's in the oml embroidery university group and asking for help because she realized this was a terrible design and again she had paid someone to digitize it so thankfully she stitched it out before uh you know putting it on anything important so okay Yes, we need to figure this out because that is not something that you can send anywhere. You could see clearly that the digitizer did not stitch out their work because if they sent out work like this, it's terrible. I, I, I'm sorry that anyone paid for this kind of work. It is literally the worst I've seen. So, okay, so we get that the digitizer auto-digitized it and not very well and didn't stitch out his own work. Those are the two mistakes that digitizers, any digitizer can make. So let's get on to the fixing part. Okay, so here is the original stitch file from the digitizer and from a distance, perhaps it may look okay. Um, I'm concerned about these uh, little black things going on. Unless they are attached, that would be a little bit of a mess, I, I think, if that was all jump stitches. But that's the least of our worries. Okay, so a rogue black line. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is either. And let's uh, ungroup everything. So now let's be clear on this. This is a stitch file. So you really can't change a whole lot on it because it's a stitch file. And if you look over here, you can see this is what a stitch file is. It's all in pieces. You may be able to get it to group better, but you really can't change a whole lot. So let's talk about what's wrong with it. Let's try a couple of fixes and then we can close this case file. So when you zoom in, you can see that the letters were cut out. The first problem here is these letters should be satin stitches and they are not satin stitches. Um, and that's why they looked so terrible stitching out. They need to be satin stitches. Built-in fonts are that way for a reason and they look better. The second biggest problem is this wildly inaccurate cutout and there is way too much of a gap in here and this is so poorly done. More of a gap in here. I mean, you know, you saw how it's stitched out. You really can't blame it. I don't know what's going on over here, but that's not cool either. But look at the spaces. Look, the O is hardly an O, and it looks like it's crooked as well. All the spaces, yeah, wow. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Um, This is my concern, these little bits. Can you imagine how many trims they're going to be because of those? And those are just like little artifacts from uh, auto-digitizing. So that's how you can tell it was 
poorly done. So I'm going to get rid of a few. Now this is uh, one option and I'm not even sure if it'll work, but if you're in a pinch and you're not that into digitizing, this is what you could do. And there and there. So there's a lot of these. So let's go, let's get the majority of them. Yeah, that's, they're like one or two stitches each. Yeah, terrible. Thanks for nothing. There you go. And is there a black line around it? Let's go to colors here. Oh, I can see when I flip to colors, I, I can see that I have a couple of more over here in the black department. And you know what? Actually, let's do this even better. Huh? Yeah, okay. That was faster. That's a fast answer. So, hmm. Now this space here is crazy. That's crazy. You could see the differences in density as well. Let's take off the true view. And yeah, look, you can see the density. Oh my goodness. There are a gazillion trims in this. Wow, look at all of them. Okay, let's select the red. So we're doing just like a quick fix and I'm not saying that this is gonna stitch out well at all. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the lettering, but let's see if we can figure out something. So what I would try, um, okay, not I was gonna say what I would try first, but that's not true. I would just redo everything because it's easier and we are gonna do that. Let's do some lettering and see if we can uh, fix it up over the uh, yellow parts. E T H I O dash roots. Uh, I need a capital. I'm still kind of sick, so sorry. And I think maybe. No, see, it's not going to work. Uh, I was hoping we could just put the lettering over it, but it's not going to work. So because this is a stitch file, again, there's not a whole lot you can do. And I'm convinced the density is an issue. Let's look at the uh, picture again. The density is an issue. There's jumps all over the place. Yeah, it is an issue because look, it's different right there and it's different right there. And this is, it looks like there's black dots in there too. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it and the black line. So my answer to this one is we gotta start again. I don't think you should be stitching this out. I think the density problems and all the jump stitches are absolutely outrageous. So I did try a quick fix. I guess if you are in a rush or have a problem, although, you know, if you're in a rush and you have to stitch out, you know, a few of these, this isn't going to be good. Okay, let's try an experiment. I brought the original picture in and we are going to adjust the bitmap, although it looks pretty good for you know, uh, a design. Let's, let's see if we can just kind of change it a little bit to make it look better. I don't think the lettering is going to work out at all, but let's give it a try and see if we can improve on what was done. So prepare artwork for embroidery. These are the colors that we want. Number of colors, five, four. Let's try that. So green, black, red, yellow. Yep, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Oh, it changed it to black. Oh, okay. Well, the first problem is 95 by 95 DPI. That's a pretty small design that is not good at all. But let's see what Hatch does. You go to town, Hatch. Let's see. Uh, now we are going to go to the auto digitize and we fixed everything, uh, you know, as well as we can. So click to fill without holes is what I am going to select. So, ah, uh, see, it picks up the green all the way around. Well, let's give it a try. Oh, the whole thing. Really? <laughs> really? All right. Let's control Z out of there. 
Wow. Oh, so it didn't cut any holes out. Okay, that's strange. Okay. So that's fine. And that's fine. It's just the green because I changed it. So click to turning fill, click to fill. We'll do this one here. Let's see how we do. Well, you know, that's not horrible. I think Hatch did a way better job of uh, setting it up. This is kind of weird around the outside. I'm not sure how that would stitch out. But doesn't that look at least better than what they did? And then you would just put the lettering over top. But just as an experiment, I think it would probably work better if I left the, the five colors on and uh, did it like that. But, you know, I think I think it's better. I think in a pinch you could do this. I would have to really see how it stitches out. So that's number two. The second way of fixing it, Hatch did a pretty good job, way better than this mess. So Hatch, yay, you know, that's it's better. It's better. Let's look at the stitch count. Uh, 25,000 and we don't have the lettering on. And this one is 18,000. Wow, okay, that's a big difference in stitches. But this one, let's check one more thing. It probably has um, a lot of tatami underlay on it. So stitching, underlay one, edge run, tatami. All right, that should make it a little bit better. 21,000. Okay, so we're pretty close to it, but I know on this one we have a nice underlay. Um, there's a couple of things that, you know, maybe we could fix that looks better, um, but if you notice there aren't all these artifacts, there's not all this crap around, this line is lovely. But, all right, this isn't the best option. This is also just in a pinch. So let's do it for reals, for reals, for reals. And I'll show you how I would do this. Now, this is a relatively uh, simple design. I'm just going to go and get back. Yeah, that's our original picture. Now, you don't necessarily have to do the... Uh, black outline, but I'm going to show you how you can do it. So let's, uh, we're not going to auto digitize anything. We are going to do it by hand. I'm not going to do all of it because it would take a long time to get around everything, but I'll show you guys how to do it. So uh, let's go to digitize and we are going to digitize a closed shape because that's what we want here. And all you have to do, zoom in a little bit so you can see. Now you can see the quality of the picture because look, it gets a little bit blurry. So you don't have to be too precise. And I'm just left clicking and zipping through this as fast as I can. I would leave this guy out or put it around like that. And I'm just going to do it really quickly because you guys don't need to sit and watch me click on my button. I was off there, but it's okay. I don't care. So this is the way to get it done. Although again, I don't think Hatch did too badly on the auto digitizing. So yeah, take your time on this. This a you know, a little bit of detail work, although a lot of the detail isn't going to show up because, because it's small. You got to remember the size. That is actually something I forgot to check. So we can get on that as soon as I'm done this. There we go and press enter. All right, so that's done. We're going to change the color because that's kind of terrible color right there. We don't have the color, so I'm going to add a few and see if I can get it. Uh, that's better. We'll do the green. And okay, I like it. Let's go into reshape. And we want to, whoops. So the X, the cross here, the red cross, that is the stop. And this is the start. So I'm just going to move them together and that'll make it easier to uh, remember. So, okay, that's okay. That's not bad. I, I don't mind that at all. 
and let's if you want the outline here is an easy way of doing it so let's go to create outlines and offsets and we want an outline and you could do it in a single run but i think at this size a stem stitch might look okay or a um triple run back stitch that's one of my favorites it just seems to work really well and click and then you have a nice outline so you could do the same for here and then just do the lettering try to match the font the best as possible and you know what this is going to look pretty good pretty good indeed so it's easy to do um and i think you can vastly improve on what the guy did for digitizing let's check the size because i forgot to do that at the beginning and it's really important that you see the size so this is five by four i'm not actually sure of the size that she wanted the file but i think that's probably pretty close i know it wasn't too big but you always have to digitize at the size you want your final embroidery to be so the it'll take a few minutes uh to do but i actually think this looks pretty good i like how it turned out just this one piece just do the same for the yellow and do the same for the red and then put your lettering on top so it stands out nicely and use the built-in lettering and i think there's a font pretty close to that and you will have a nice file so we've gone from uh whatever this is to um let me put true view on we've gone from this which is atrocious in so many ways even with all the black taken off to auto digitized and then to this digitized manually digitizing doesn't that look fantastic and you can uh group it so all the outlines are at the end so it just stitches the black at the end and uh and the lettering and i think it's fantastic so hopefully that closes this case file it was quite something i was quite shocked i really thought i needed to help out on this one because this is really bad really bad so if you have any uh case files for us uh, please send them to me. You can email me at sue at omlembroidery.com. We'd love to show how to fix your embroidery files and we'll open up a case file on it. But for now, this case file is closed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will uh, keep working hard at your embroidery and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.